Hello, this is Justin at the Tech Train here. Thank you for watching. Today, I'm going to show you a very quick tip that will show you in Microsoft Excel how you can format numbers so that positive numbers appear black with an up arrow next to them and negative numbers appear red with a down arrow next to them and there is no conditional formatting involved. To begin with, I'm just going to put a quick formula in here, which will allow me to generate randomly numbers between negative 10,000 and positive 10,000, like that. I'm then going to replicate this down, and I'm going to center align this so it's a little easier to see. So we can reload this spreadsheet now by pressing F9 on our keyboard. It'll randomly generate a mixture of positive and negative numbers, as you can see. So this is what we're then going to do. We're going to select these cells here and we're not going to use conditional formatting. What we're going to do instead is look at this section in the Home tab, which is labeled Number. And I'm simply going to click on the little pop out at the bottom right corner. Now you may possibly have used the Format Cells feature in the past for specifying the number of decimal places, for example, for a number, Specif uh, specifying the way that the date is formatted and so on. But we're not going to use any of these. We're going to come down to the bottom where it says custom. And to begin with, you'll actually have the word general in there probably. So whatever there is in this little box here, delete it. And we're going to start from scratch. Now you'll have a little preview at the top here, which will be in this case, the first number in our selected list. So minus three, five, eight, one. And whatever we type in this box here will show the format of the number. Now we can uh, represent numbers uh, by using the hash symbol like that. So if I was to type the hash symbol, that would simply display that number 3581 exactly as it is now. But I might want to show a comma or a thousands separator. I can do that. Again, watch the preview here as I type that hash comma and then hash hash hash. So that will now show me the thousands with a comma and then the three other zeros. And you can see the preview there shows that comma. So we can actually change the format of numbers by using a symbol like the hash there to represent a single digit. But there's something else that Excel allows us to do, and that's to represent two different versions of how the number should be formatted, depending upon whether it's positive or negative. So what I've done so far here is to include just one format, which will be used for both positive and negative numbers. To show how a negative number should be treated, I need to type a semicolon. Now the semicolon divides this little format here into positive on the left and negative on the right. So if I type hash, comma, hash, 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 you'll see that this number here appears in exactly the same format, apart from the fact that there's no minus sign there because the format here hasn't included a minus. If I wanted to include a minus, I would simply have to type it there just before the first hash. And then you see that number appears. I may want to include the negative number in brackets, in which case anything after the semicolon needs to be written in brackets like that. And you can see the preview here. I'll click OK just so that you can see the preview. So this shows how in Excel we're able to show positive and negative numbers with different formats just by using the format cells feature. So no conditional formatting, no formulas, just simply the format cells. So how do we add the color then? Let's highlight these cells again. I'm going to go back to there and I'm going to remove the brackets for the moment. So I'm just going to have them both as numbers with a thousand separator. But how do I show the color? Well, again, anything I want to do with a negative number has to come immediately after that semicolon. So just after the semicolon, I'm going to write the word red in square brackets. So I open my square bracket, type red and close my square, uh, square bracket. And if I click OK, you'll see now that all negative numbers automatically appear in red. Again, no conditional formatting. That's right within the format cells feature. So what about these up and down arrows then? How do we do that? Well, there are two ways of doing it. 
If you have a keyboard um, for a PC, say, that has a number pad on the right hand side, then you can easily type an up and down arrow like this. Hold the Alt key down, that's the key to the left hands of your space bar, hold the Alt key down, and then using the number pad on the right hand side of your keyboard, type 30, and then let go of the Alt key, and you'll have the up arrow. If I hold the Alt key down, and then I type 31, and then I let go of Alt, I get a down arrow. So you may have come across alt codes for symbols. If not, this is a really handy way of being able to type a range of symbols that aren't uh, to be found on your keyboard. So alt 30 and alt 31. If you don't have a number pad on the right hand side of your keyboard, you're using a, a laptop for example, uh, then you can simply go to insert at the top and then on the right hand side, symbol. Change the font back to something uh, traditional, something normal, such as Arial. And on the right hand side where it says subset, click on that and choose geometric shapes. And this will take you to the section where you can see here we have the up and down arrow and we can simply double click each of those and then click close. And then we've got them in here and we can highlight them and copy them and paste them into the format cells feature. So either of those methods will work. Let's select these cells again, go back to home, click on the little pop out. So we're back to our format cells section here. So what I'm going to do is to start off with click on the left hand side of the positive format. So that's everything to the left hand side of that semicolon. And by the way, if you wanted to display positive numbers in green, we can do something like that by simply writing the word green in square brackets. Let me quickly show you that just so you can see. So I'm not going to do that because I think the green actually is a little less clear, especially against the white. But what I am going to do on the left hand side of that positive is use the Alt 30 to type a up arrow. And then I'm going to just type a space so that there's a space between that up arrow and the number. And then on the right hand side, just after the color, I'm again going to type the Alt key and then 31 to get a down arrow and press space. So now if I click OK, you can see that I've now got my up and down arrows corresponding to whether the number is positive or negative. I can reload those and you can see how that's working. So again, this is not using conditional formatting. We're not using any formulas and you can use any symbol you like. So hopefully using the information here, you can see how you could format these with brackets. You could remove the comma separator. You could use a variety of different colors or indeed a variety of different symbols. So I hope this was useful to you. If you've learned something you didn't know about uh, before with Excel, it would be fantastic if you could give this video a like. If you found it useful, perhaps consider sharing. And of course, it would be fantastic if you haven't subscribed already, if you'd hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, do leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as I possibly can. But thank you very much indeed for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.